Hello everyone, uh, this is the IFC Architect speaking, and today I'm going to do quite a simple video. Today we're going to be doing a simple section video. I noticed I don't have one that just does a section, and I thought this multi-story building that we created in the last video would be quite good for that. It would create quite an interesting section. To install Blender BIM or Blender, check the installation videos in the description. Please update your Blender BIM to the latest build I'm using found on my channel about page. My layout very simply has the properties on the right hand side, and the outliner on the left hand side. Please make sure that you've got your snaps enabled, which just allow you to easily um, model things and move them around and make sure that your move gizmo, this little object here, is uh, selected. Control Z, Control Z. You can follow what I'm doing with screencast keys in the bottom left. Okay, cool, let's get started. So what I think we're gonna do is section through the stairs, um, straight through this portion, and then we'll just dress it up so that it looks good as well. Okay, let's get to it, I'm gonna press N. I'm going to make sure that my screencast keys are on and then I'm going to select the BIM tool. I'm just going to collapse all this because I don't need it open right now. And I'm going to go to one of the floor plans. I'm probably just going to go to the ground floor. Okay, and then we're going to come here and we're just going to snap to the center of one of this wall, one of these walls. And we're going to go to the drawings portion here and we're going to change this to a section. And we want it to look towards the house, I think. So it's going to be from the east. Nope, <laughs> it's going to be from the west. Okay, cool. So let's just delete the east section. And then we're just going to activate the west section. You can see we already have pretty much a drawing. So I'm going to select the camera. We're going to go to the object data properties. I'm going to change this to 15, I think. Yeah. And then we're just going to change the ratio. One, one, two, three. So that this guy is 600, oh no, 1,000, 1,300, okay, cool. Then we're going to select him, we're going to say GZ and GY to get it centered. And then I'm going to turn on viewport annotations and then I'm going to select, I'm going to press W to select the normal selection box, select these guys, press tab, Select these guys individually, <laughs> press tab, grab them on the edge there, snap them there. And then I'm just going to say GY and give them a little bit of space, probably just a meter. And then I'm going to select the edges here, snap them here, and say GY minus 1000, also a meter. Okay, um, that's basically our section. So I'm just going to say activate view, and then we're going to say create drawing. And here's our drawing. You can see it's pretty good. Um, it's just a basic section. Um, maybe we want to add a few more details to this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some room labels and then some door opening lines, that kind of thing. So we're going to go back and we're going to go into our drawing again. I'm going to use the hidden line to demarcate the doors. So I'm just going to say G and we're just going to Control R to add a line, and then we do that. So this is the swing of the door, basically. The hinge is on the side with one portion. So I'm just gonna grab this, and I'm not actually paying attention to how the hinge looks. Um, I'm just gonna copy this so that all of these doors swing in the same direction, essentially. Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D, Shift D. Okay, cool. Tab. And then we can say activate and we can say create drawing. And then you can see our doors have swings in them. Uh, we're going to close this again and then we're just going to get some text. And we're just going to say, I'm going to start at the top and move to the, oh, start at the bottom and move to the top. GZ and then GY start in this room. And if I recall correctly, let's just go to the ground floor plan. Uh, this is just a bedroom. Okay, so we're going to go to our west section, which I'm also just going to relabel section A. And I'm going to select our text. We're going to go to object properties, collapse everything, just open this text at the bottom, edit, and here we're just going to say bedroom. And I want it to be centered. 
so that's okay. And then we're going to go to object metadata, collapse everything we don't need. We're going to go to uh, object property sets, make an annotation set. We're going to plus it. We're going to edit this. And in classes, this is kind of the size, basically. So we have, I'm going to flash the classes now. It's small, regular, large, title, and header. Sorry, header and then title. Title's the biggest. So for this one, uh, we want this to be a bit bigger. So I'm just going to say large. And then I'm going to click that. I'm going to go back here. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Bedroom. And they say backslash n. And I'm just going to say carpet for the floor. I'm going to do a lowercase so it's a bit better. Okay, edit, done. And then we center it in the room because we said center. Cool. And then we say activate view and we can say create drawing. And there it is. It's quite big, actually. So maybe we just want it to be regular. So I'm going to I'm gonna say GZ so that it's also... Oopsie, I've got two things selected there. We just want the text. So we say GZ, snap it there. Uh, we're not going to make it large, we're going to make it small, I think. Okay, and then I'm just going to duplicate it, Shift DZ, until it's snapped halfway there. And then this is the balcony. So we can just say balcony, and it's going to be tile. edit that and we say shift dz this is also the balcony uh, grab this text again at the bottom shift dy bring it here and we just call it the bathroom bathroom and it's not going to be carpet it's also going to be tile and then we can say shift dy snap it to there and we can call this entry. I'm going to shift DZ, snap it there. Call this bathroom. Shift DZ. I'm to call this BIC, which is a built in cupboard. And then shift DY bring it here and I'm just going to call this a passage so then we can go activate view and create a drawing and then you can see these aren't really that visible so I'm just going to adjust them slightly so they are <laughs> so I'm going to just take the two balconies which I think is this one and this one and we're just going to say GY, oh no, sorry, this one and this one, GY, and center them there. And then the passageway, which is the last one we did, say GY and center it on this wall, basically. And the BIC, I'm just going to say GY and bring it there. I think the bathroom, is it more visible there maybe? The entry is fine where it is. And I think we're happy with the rest. So we're going to go there and we're going to say print. I think that's more legible. And then the next thing we want to do is just add a terrain at the bottom. So I'm just going to, with the normal selection box, and make sure I'm in my building or my site. I'm going to say shift A mesh cube. I'm just going to say GZ, GZ. And then in 3D, I'm just going to edit this cube so it is bigger than the site and bigger than my camera. And that's basically what we're going to do. Yeah, very simple. Put the cube in the building. <laughs> Call the, the cube um, the site. Maybe that needs to be in the site then. <laughs> and then we're going to go here. We're going to go into class. IFC element, IFC geographic element, it's going to be terrain, and we're just going to assign the IFC class. And then the last thing we do is just make sure it's bigger than the camera. So I'm just going to press it again, tab, three, and then I'm just going to bring it below the camera. Doesn't really matter. OK, 
Okay, cool. I'm just going to update the representation. Always helps. Then we activate the view and we say create drawing. And then you can see we have a nice thick ground line over there. And then if you want, we can just add another set of text. Text G, uh, GZ50. And then we go here and then we can just go here and just call it NGL for the natural ground line. And we can say shift D Y, bring it there. Bring we bring this guy up a little bit as well. G X G Y. There we go. And then activate view and print. And there we have uh, a section. <laughs> so I think there's an issue with the stairs. Maybe we need to give them a material. Object material. Let's give it an unknown material. <laughs> And this one, an unknown material. Print. Yeah, and there's black. Yeah, maybe we could make it a bit detailed, a bit neater there. If we want this guy, we can go here. Go to the stair. Go here. I think it is the top slab depth. There we go. Uh, Naught. Yes, perfect. And then here, oh, let's finish and then update. And then do the same thing here. Make the top slab depth not. Finish editing, update representation. Then we can click activate view again and create drawing. And there we go, we got a slightly neater looking situation there. <laughs> uh, if you found that interesting or useful, you can check out more at the OS Arc community page. This was made using Blender, the Blender BIM add-on, which is powered by the IFC Open Shell. And the community that we're involved in is the OSR community. I will provide links in the description and you can check other videos to follow along. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.